Hi Aquarius, it's your girl D here with 8,000 Energy here to bring you another August 2020 read. I hope all is well with you guys. Um, I do want to thank you for all the love and support you bring to the channel. You guys are amazing. So let's see what I got for my Aqua Mommies and Aqua Poppies. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for you. Um, I do want you to take what resonates and leave the rest. Please know that this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. So you should not take anything personal that comes out of this reading. Um, the only readings you should take personal are the ones that you physically pay for out of your pocket. All right. So we're going to do a Celtic cross. I'm going to get all the cards out for you here. Okay. So justice is the current situation in reverse. That's major arcana. Let's see what energies are positively or negatively affecting that. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, all right, that came out upright. For your past situation, we have the Queen of Cups energy. This is Cancerian energy. In the more recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. The crowning energy for the reading, where your head is at. Or what you're thinking about. Ooh, okay. I'm going to put them both back. But I feel like here with the Seven of Swords and this uh, Chariot energy, I feel like you're ready to move on. Um, you may not be letting anybody know that you're ready to move on, uh, but I feel like you are. Okay, or the person you're dealing with is, is planning on moving on. But... That was the crowning energy. But we're going to get another card because we just want one. So we have the seven of cups energy here. So somebody's definitely in their head thinking about things. So that could have been what you were thinking about. Whether you're thinking about moving forward or leaving or in your fears here. We have the king of cups energy, Scorpio energy. How people see you or how this person sees you. Or if you're reminiscing about the situation, how you see yourself. Is the Eight of Pentacles, more Virgo energy here. What's in your hopes? All right, we're not going to take that. What's in your hope? Okay, we got the Six of Cups in your hopes in reverse. Scorpio energy. And one more for the outcome. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords for the outcome. And then for the future energy here, what's going on in the immediate future? What's going on in the immediate future? Ooh, that Seven of Swords wanted to come out. So we're going to keep it as the future energy here. We're going to keep it in the upright, okay? Underneath the deck here, I have the Wheel of Fortune energy. So something is coming back around again with the Wheel of Fortune. And um, this gives you the opportunity to make things go in your favor. Major Arcana there. So as far as... <clears throat> All right, Aquarius. I had to get my throat together. <laughs> as far as the uh, overall energy here, we have the Ten of Swords. We have the... King of Wands. He came out in reverse. And we have the Four of Cups who came out in reverse. What I'm getting here is someone has felt betrayed. Um, I feel like it could have been some physical, ooh, could have been some physical violence for some. Not for everybody, but it could have been. Okay. Um, but I feel like someone was backstabbed. I feel like, um, Yeah, they're not happy about it at all. Not happy about it at all. Someone could have cheated on someone. Um, someone could have taken... I feel like someone took advantage of someone here in some way, shape, or form. Um, but we got the King and the Queen of Cups here on the table here. So I feel like this is definitely um, um, a past life connection of some sort. You two are evenly yoked. Okay, whether it's just a regular soulmate. But you guys knew each other in a past life, I feel like here. Um, 
because we got justice in reverse and someone wants a new beginning. So someone feels betrayed. Okay, someone um, feels as if they were lied to, they were cheated on, they were disrespected, and they, um, you know, no longer want to participate in this situation, meaning they want to venture off for something new. So it could be a new relationship, could be a new job opportunity, um, but they feel that they were not treated fairly here. And they gave so much love and support in the past here. You know, they were very loving, very supportive, very nurturing. Um, you know, this is a very kind individual and it seems as though somebody may have just been dragging their heels about wanting to be in a relationship with this person or wanting something serious. Okay. Because things are just going really, really slow here. And I feel like as a result here, this person is not happy about it. Um, you know, someone doesn't want to just be someone's sex toy. All right. And so the crowning energy is like, okay, well, what is the issue? What is going on? Why is this person not interested in moving forward? You know, what is the issue here? And in your hopes, you're hoping that, you know, I'm sorry, in your fears, you're fearing, you know, that this person may be taking action with someone else or maybe dealing with someone else with the King of Cups energy. Um, and how this person sees you is the Eight of Pentacles. So this person sees you as... Hmm. They see you as somebody who works a lot. They see you as somebody who um, maybe they think that you're on their mind. You're on their mind. Maybe they think that you're focused on them because of how nurturing and loving you've been to them. So maybe they think that they got you on lock here. This could be it. All right. But, um, you know, how you see things and what you what you have in your hopes is I feel like your hopes is to let go of the situation. Um, with the Six of Cups in reverse. This is someone from your past. Um, like I said, you guys are past life lovers. Um, which is why we got the Six of Cups here in reverse. And we got the King and, King and Queen of Cups. So I feel as though this is a strong past connection here. And I feel like you want it to be over. I feel like you want to move on from it. I feel like you have you realize that you had some unrealistic expectations. You're very unhappy with the situation. Or someone's very unhappy. And as a result, with the Ace of Swords here, um, there could be some truth that comes out. Okay? If people are married, there could be a divorce. So someone could have, you know, with this Justice in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles, someone could be filing for divorce because there could just be repeated um, incidents of cheating. Okay? Um, someone could be doing this behind this person's back because this is what's coming up with the future, with the Swords energy. So someone could be feeling this way and they're not saying anything or they could be taking action and not saying anything, just like this person could be is cheating and they're not, I don't know if they're directly coming out and telling you this or not, but there is some energy um, going on here in the immediate future, uh, referencing someone doing something secretly. We're going to clarify that in the extended <clears throat> to find out what that is, because definitely somebody's up to something. But I feel like with these three cards here, the Ten of Swords, the uh, King of Pentacles, in the Four of Cups, that there is uh, someone who's just tired of it. They're tired of constantly being cheated on. But more importantly, what it could also be is this person, you know, the King of Wands in reverse. Not only is he someone who um, is actively out there sleeping with random people, he could just be someone who's immature and not ready. Okay? And so these two cards go along with me, would go along well together um, with the Six of Cups in reverse and the King of Pen King of uh, Wands in reverse. Someone who's very immature. Okay, someone who's not ready. And I see a lot of unhappiness here. Okay, um, I feel like things are going very slow here in the re immediate uh, past. Things slowed down. Could be finances slowed down as well, but I feel like the connection is just stagnant. It's not really going anywhere. And somebody doesn't want to put any more time and effort into this relationship is what I'm getting to with this Knight of Pentacles. That's what I'm feeling here. They don't want to invest any more time, energy, and effort than they've already done because they've already invested so much. And to be betrayed, you know, by somebody who is just, you know, a player who's not interested in slowing down or settling down or who's really not ready, you know, is, is this is just not a happy situation for this person. So as a result, I feel like this person is ready to leave. They're ready to leave the situation. 
Now, I don't know if this means that they're going to just tell you what's up or if they're going to file paperwork and then you end up finding out, which could be what the Seven of Swords is all about. Um, or if they're just, you know, feeling like the situation is a headache. Because this is what the Ace of Swords can represent as well. It's just like, this is a headache. This is not what I want. This is an issue. It's a problem. And someone's definitely thinking about it. They're in their head about it for sure. Okay, with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Definitely in their head about it, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, this could be also somebody who has a lot of options and they're not interested in settling down. And um, in order for them, they feel like, okay, well, this person's been very loving and supportive, but let me slow things down because I'm not sure if I want to be in a relationship with them. You know, and their fear is, is that, you know, this person finds out that they're dealing with other people or that, you know, they have to explain themselves. I feel like somebody feels like they just want to be single. And how people see this person is someone who's just focused on them. You know, on what it is that they want. Is what I'm getting here. But yeah, I feel like um, somebody, this is just a situation here where somebody is done. They're completely done with this. Um, they want something different. Let's see what these five cards are. So we have the Wheel of Fortune energy that came out. So this is something that's coming around again. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles here. We have the Fool in Reverse, Major Arcana. We have the Two of Cups that came out in Reverse. This is Cancerian energy. And we have the Hangman that came out. This is Neptunian energy. So with these Major Arcanas up in her, mm, mm, mm. So we got the Wheel of Fortune, so something coming around again. So this person could be reaching out to you. This could be someone that you're no longer in contact with or you're not communicating with because of the fact that this person may not know what they want or you don't know what you want. Flip the roles as it needs to be. You know, just put yourself in whatever the role is. If, you re if this storyline resonates with you, just put yourself in whatever role you need to be in. Um, every part that you play may not, you know, resonate, but you know how this works by now. So, yeah. So I feel like someone's going to reach out. I feel like someone is like, no, I'm not really going to jump into this really quickly again. I'm just going to sit here and wait. Yeah, see, what happens is, yeah, this person is like, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to just sit here and wait. I'm not going to jump into anything. You know, I'm going to see what you're going to do. Because someone already feels like I've already played this game already with you. I've already done this with you. I've already done this with you. And I feel like somebody's just going to let this person know, you know, look, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the situation. I'm moving on. That's what I'm feeling like here. I feel like somebody's going to let somebody know that they're moving on. And this is going to catch this person by surprise. That's what I'm feeling here. Because somebody's extremely unhappy. They're very unhappy in this situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the extended and find out a little bit more. I definitely want to know about this Seven of Swords here and what this is. Because somebody's up to something and they're not telling you. Or you're up to something and you're not letting the person know. So Cross Watcher or Aquarius, you know, this might be beneficial for you to know. Uh, also, I don't know what's in the fears here is the King of Cups. So I don't know if you're afraid you don't want this person to come to you and offer you love because maybe you're not ready to settle down. Or, you know, you could be the person who wants to settle down and you're afraid that your person is seeing other people. And that might be what's in your fears. So we'll clarify that as well. Because, like I said, this could go on both sides. But I definitely feel like somebody feels like, um, you know, they want out of a situation. This could be marriage as well. Okay, because we have the Justice Energy and the Ace of Swords. So somebody could be filing divorce. So a couple different scenarios here. So the link in is going to be in the uh, box below to the extended. So feel free to join in. If this was enough for you here, uh, please feel free to click the like button and make sure you um, leave a comment. Let me know, you know, if you can't and you don't want to, it's personal, it's fine. But if you could leave a comment, let me know if this resonated and how. Um, I'd love to know because I'd love to hear, you know, if it resonates with you, if you're picking up on this energy. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell, hit the like button, subscribe. 
The link's in the box below for the extended. I'll see you there. If not, Aqua Mommies and Aqua Poppies, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.